Recording in progress. As usual, I forgot to hit the record button before we started the meeting. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, okay. Moving on to the. Um, all right. Let's see if I can get here. We go. Uh, moving on to the uh, update on the rail projects. Uh, starting off with the Westlake corridor, uh, the design is uh, now ninety-five percent complete. Uh, train and operating system does remain in progress, uh, with the exception of uh, BR one hundred and one and the Main Street underpass at Munster Dyer. Uh, the civil works are mostly done. Uh, track work along the full length of the project is largely complete. Uh, paving is scheduled to begin for the west parking lot at the Munster Dyer stations. Uh, while we'll the work on the station and preparations for the installation of the bridge over Main Street continue. Overall construction is about 84% complete. Uh, and uh, we're still on track for uh, getting uh, getting service uh, started uh, in the spring of next year. And the most recent development here, as you can see, we have uh, the, the, the Hammond cutover is complete. And the new Hammond Gateway Station is operational for rail service as of October 18th, 2024. Um, so we have a, a new station and it looks fantastic. And uh, I'm looking forward to see there's some great development plans for this uh, that Hammond has. And I'm looking forward to seeing those uh, come to fruition in the uh, hopefully near future. So if there are any questions on this, uh, I will be happy to uh, address them. Looks great. It does. All right, and then moving on to uh, double track here. Um, double track, as we know, the 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 um, the double track is now online. Uh, trains are running. Revenue service has begun. Um, Nikki just, I think, shaking out most of the uh, the issues with the uh, with the new schedule. Uh, really, the only thing left to go is the uh, parking garage in Michigan City. Uh, that's the the five percent of the project that isn't done yet, um, and I understand that uh, uh, that has been going up. I've seen photos of it. They've got uh, the outer facade work on that, so that's looking really, uh, really, uh, really good. And I believe that's uh, scheduled to be completed uh, at some point early next year. Any questions I can answer here? All right then. And that will complete the uh, rail projects update. And uh, I'll be happy to turn it over to Aaron if he wants to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, TDD boundaries. Yeah, so um, brief update on the TDD boundaries today. Um, we're continuing to work with uh, Valpo and Beverly Shores Pines. Uh, I'd say Beverly Shores and Pines is the community that we're, we have the most updates. Um, We've uh, had a meeting with the joint council and kind of gone back and forth on a few boundary tweaks. So we're ready to schedule another meeting with uh, with that group to review that, keep that moving forward. Uh, with uh, Valparaiso, uh, I know Beth's not on the call, but we um, have put together a couple scenarios um, to advance that. And then South Bend, I know Tim, you're on the call. You and I spoke maybe a month or so ago and I will get with Amy after this call. I believe she was going to reach out with some dates for um, a meeting. Yeah, I, I, I was <laughs> I was thinking, Aaron, I was like, did I drop the ball on something? Because I know I talked to you, but I couldn't remember if we had set anything up. Yeah, I'll get with Amy. We'll get some dates set up. Okay, great. Thanks. I don't know. You tell them a little bit about the uh, Pines Transit Development District, Aaron. Yeah, so uh, thanks for putting this uh, slide up. So we did want to preview the draft uh, district for Pines Beverly Shores. You can see um, right now we are at uh, 283 acres, a 0.62 acres so under the 320 uh, required by statute. This is a TDD that straddles both towns of Beverly Shores and the Pines. Uh, you can see it includes the station, so the NICTI station at Beverly Shores. Uh, also includes a connection down to the lakefront. Um, and then really we're looking at developable property along US-12, primarily uh, areas that could redevelop or um, could be part of a transit-oriented development district. The other goal here is to 
set up a TDD that would allow for both communities in the future to uh, potentially utilize TDD increment to work with the state of Indiana, uh, as well as Porter County and the city of Michigan City to uh, extend sewers um, into their communities. And so um, this is a very preliminary step um, that will hopefully help both communities with their goal of eventually getting on sewer. Um, and uh, yep, those are the updates we have to share. Uh, as I mentioned, we've met with uh, both councils and both are in support of this. We've gotten some feedback from them and incorporated that feedback here and are ready to have another meeting with them. And uh, I know Mayor Angie, you're on the call. Um, I do think it would be good for us to have a conversation with you as well. I know we've previously talked a little bit about the potential for sewer and how uh, TDD could be helpful for these towns. Yeah, and, I, I, and I've had a couple of, of meetings with uh, some folks too about it. So we're, we're ready whenever you start, whenever you get that, that funding mechanism in place, we're ready to go. Great, thank you. Um, Aaron, I just wanted to point out that the map that's being presented it was the first draft that doesn't have the tweaks. Um, I think that John Mackin is on this call with us and this this version does not include his triangle um, on the south side of 12. Um, and this was what you guys sent us. Then we tweaked it, sent it back to you but the the big green glob to the the far west is national park and not quite to his place okay so we will I make that point, change i just wanted anybody that's looking at this this is this is not what you're going to present at the meeting this was the prior version thank you for that clarification we will get that updated apologies for that No problem. All right. Any other questions on the uh, the new uh, transit development district in Beverly Shores Pines? All right then. And uh, then just one uh, one quick note we wanted to add in here: uh, the RDA has been working to uh, promote the transit development districts. Uh, we have had uh, meetings and we've been, we've attended meetings in Indianapolis and in fact in Washington DC uh, to talk a little bit about these, uh, get the word out about what's going on in Northwest Indiana, uh, drum up interest uh, from uh, from uh, from developers um, in order to come and uh, take a look at uh, you know what's happening in all these different communities. So just wanted to keep you aware that we are out there and we're working on that and we're going to continue with that uh, process. Uh, throughout uh, 2025 as well. So, and then finally, uh, quick to, uh, update on the uh, TDD program guide. Uh, we are still conducting uh, meetings with some communities. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far we are with that process, but I think we're pretty, pretty far along. And uh, I anticipate that the guide will be. Uh, uh, available publicly here uh, in, in fairly short order. Um, anything to add um, from uh, from Mr. Dolan or uh, or Aaron? No, I think as you said, Dave, we're the, the, we've had a great conversations with the community. Appreciate the input, the communities, and appreciate their input. Um, trying to schedule a couple more, and then we'll, based on all the feedback, we'll update the guide, and then, as you said, look to publish it. Excellent. With regards to the guide, has there been changes since, or many updates since I think it was presented or passed along through email maybe three or four months ago? Or is that pretty much still the same guide? It's pretty much the same guide. We just, there's been some, um, we have a kind of a living draft, if you will, just based on some input that we received from the various communities, kind of areas for clarification and things. but no major changes or uh yeah i would guess i called no major changes to to what's written in there okay we can also when we when we update it we can make a red line available just so people can see any changes there if you could and, and, and when do you think again that would be uh publicly uh distributed uh I'm hoping by the end of the year but we've got a couple of meetings so until those are scheduled i just kind of want to make sure we get input from all the communities Okay. 
Thank you. I look forward to seeing it. So no worries. Thank you. All right. Um, Mr. Chairman, that'll take us to uh, our final uh, couple of slides here for today's uh, for today's meeting. Um, just wanted to uh, to uh, emphasize that the RDA remains uh, available as a resource for all our communities. Um, in turn, we have uh, you know planning resources with MKSK, uh, you know financial analysis resources with KPMG, uh, fiscal analysis resources with policy analytics. Um, so as you are working through development within the transit development districts, you know, if there's any assistance that you need, any uh, information, please don't hesitate to uh, get in contact with us. Uh, we would like to, uh, uh, you know, continue to be a, a, as much of a resource and a help to you as possible. Uh, and it, from that point, uh, I would like to turn it over. I know uh, our chairman uh, had a few things that he wanted to uh, talk about. And uh, anyone else get uh, get updates from around the uh, communities? Sure, I appreciate it, Dave. Um, so, kind of following along to um, using MKSK and policy analytics as a resource. Uh, recently, we had the opportunity to uh, here in the city of Gary uh, to have conversations about how we draft the extension of our Gary Metro TDD, um, and the extension is really driven uh, by our livable Broadway plan. Uh, to encourage density uh, development along our Broadway corridor. And our goal and vision is extending our transit development district uh, south from Midtown at 19th Avenue and Broadway, um, potentially to Ridge Road, uh, which would also uh, encapsulate a few uh, blocks surrounding Indiana University Northwest, uh, our University Park East district. So um, we're undergoing that process as, as we speak about uh, drafting opportunities to extend extend our uh, transit development district. Um, and I definitely appreciate um, the uh, support from MKSK and policy analytics through, the, through this process, but that's also helping us execute our vision and mission of encouraging development along um, our Broadway corridor. And then um, um, outside of the uh, resources uh, for MKSK and policy analytics that we've utilized, um, I, I can share more information about you know, what we're doing with the Notre Dame School of Architecture when it comes to being intentional about how we redevelop within our transit development district. Uh, there is a, uh, a dinner opportunity that they're inviting other communities uh, to participate and they're looking for those who are within a hundred mile radius of Notre Dame School of Architecture uh, because they have a what's called a hundred mile housing and re community regeneration program. Um, and they're looking to support communities within a hundred mile radius. Um, and because of communities such as Kalamazoo, Laporte, um, Elkhart, um, South Bend um, has been a part of this process as well um, of, of developing a unique plan for a particular neighborhood with the purpose of revitalizing the community or developing um, housing regeneration within um, a walkable district. So uh, definitely would love to invite uh, members of our committee uh, to that dinner that's in December. I'll get more details I could share with the group, David, uh, but I just wanted to be able to extend that resource because it's been very helpful for us in the city of Gary when it comes to sharing what our vision is uh, and being very intentional. And Chuck, I know that I think you made a brief comment in our last meeting about figuring out how uh, we could work with incremental development and making sure that um, we include our small businesses as a part of our transit development district growth, uh, but would definitely love to invite um, members of this committee uh, to that dinner when I get more um, when I get more information uh, from the Notre Dame team um, for that opportunity. So just wanted to share that. Thanks, Chris. Uh, yeah, if you send me the information, I'll be happy to uh, send the dates and everything out to uh, to the group. Any other updates? I do have a question. Um, and maybe this, I know that we had a meeting to to kind of talk about our TDD district a little bit and understanding the financing piece of it. Um, my question is around the resource piece of it. Uh, is there, is it possible to maybe um, set up some type of meeting to discuss uh, more with our redevelopment commission, you know, you know, 
what the resource is and, and how we can utilize the resource. I think there's a disconnect possibly because of us not being a member of the RDA um, that I just want to make sure we're all clear on and what resources are available to Michigan City as a part of the TDD. Um, because I, I still don't think there's a clear, at least in my mind, I, I don't think there's a clear uh, understanding of that piece of it. Um, I, I will say though, um, Chris, um, I would like the information because I haven't really heard much about it. Um, since we have a functional TDD, um, it's probably important that Michigan City is included in some form or fashion um, as we start working our plan um, towards our Midtown area. Uh, so I think that um, we have a lot of projects because of the TDD. Um, we're actually working towards a, um, hopefully we'll have an announcement sometime soon, but we um, have two projects that we have um, uh, been working with the feds on TIFIA uh, funding for two of our housing projects within a half mile radius of the train station. So uh, just a lot of moving parts. Um, I just got back from Florida a couple of weeks ago where I participated in the Mayor's Institute on City Design, really focusing on some corridor projects. So um, I think because of the TDD and that train station, it is really... Um, giving us some opportunities for some additional funding, um, which is tremendous. Um, and so we're trying to secure those now, but um, I think there's still maybe a disconnect. They have several new uh, redevelopment commissioners um, and some new team members. So I'm, I might need to maybe uh, pull something together um, with MKSK and, and uh, policy analytics to figure out what what's available as we start working our plan for Midtown. Absolutely, we'd Those be happy to things. meet with you. Okay, and our parking garage is sure fabulous. That... <laughs> I, did want to, I, I did want to share that our parking garage looks fabulous. We're just working on the facade now, but uh, I did have a chance to go to the, the top, the rooftop and take photos and, um, and uh, our mixed use development is moving along as well. And we've converted, uh, beginning next week, our Franklin street will be a two way street, not a one way street anymore. So a lot of things have changed in Michigan city. Um, yeah, since I was a kid, actually, it's been one way. So it'll be two way when I get back from vacation. So I'm excited about that. Mayor, as a person who uh, spent a lot of time in Michigan City growing up, that conversion to Franklin, I believe, is a game changer. I think it's going to be wonderful for economic development in your downtown area. So that's a huge opportunity for you all. I'm glad that you did that. Yeah, we've we've it's, it should have been done about seven years ago, but social media tends to play a part. And I just chose not to look at social media for a month and just to get it done. <laughs> So it'll be done next week. And, Thanks, and I love everybody. to share that information with you too, uh, Mayor Angie, about uh, the Notre Dame um, dinner. So cool. Anyone else? One, one other thing that I did forget. Uh, so I know that at some point in time, we'll talk about the expansion of the TDD. I, I did want to inform everybody, we did kick off our steering committee for our prison study, um, which is um, 100 acres uh, adjacent to, it's 100 acres of property, but it's adjacent to the TDD. And I know at some point we'll need to, talk about uh, future growth of the TDD and what that looks like with the prison closing um, and um, working on an announcement with the with Governor Holcomb right now and um, and then possible you know the possible you know the possible use of the NIPSCO plant and um, that being decommissioned in the next two years as well so 
Um, we need to probably keep that on our radar as to what that could possibly look like um, in the future as well. Excellent. Thank you, Mayor. Well, if there are no other updates uh, from the committee, uh, just a, a few housekeeping notes uh, as we uh, head into the new year. Um, as, as you as you may be aware, all of the um, all of the uh, appointments to the committee expire at uh, the end of December every year. Uh, so I will be sending out uh, letters to all the appointing authorities uh, over the next couple of weeks uh, in order to ask for uh, appointments or reappointments to this committee. Um, so I will uh, I will copy current members on those letters when I send them out, uh, so that uh, you know uh, if you're uh, if you're interested in continuing on, you can uh, you can make your case. Uh, in any event, uh, our uh, 2025 meeting schedule uh, is. Uh, available on screen. I believe I sent the calendar out to, to everyone. Uh, so we're looking at February 12th, May 14th, August 13th, and November 12th. Um, if there are issues with those, uh, any of those dates, let me know. I will do the best to accommodate uh, any changes uh, that are that are necessary. And, uh, and finally, I would just remind you that when we do get to our first uh, meeting in February, we will need to elect a chair, a new chairperson for 2025. Uh, if Mr. Harris would like to continue in that role, that's fine. Um, if anyone else would like to put their name uh, in the ring for, uh, for, the, uh, for the job, uh, just, uh, just let me know. I nominate Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that concludes my remarks. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if you have anything else that you, you want to bring to our attention or uh, if you want to just gavel us out, uh, let me know. Um, no, that, that, that's all That's all I had. Uh, appreciate everyone's time. Uh, I make a motion to uh, adjourn today's TDD committee meeting. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All right. You guys have it. Everyone have a wonderful holiday season. Very good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.